So that, that giant sucking sound that H. Ross Perot talked about a few years ago actually does happen. He may have heard it because he had bigger ears than most of us. Uh, but now everybody in Iowa is hearing it. The people of Lake Mills are hearing it. The people in uh, Webster City where they lost their Electrolux are hearing it. The people that lost their, the, uh, uh, the Maytag plant down in Newton, they're hearing it. Every little town in Iowa that used to have manufacturing and doesn't today can thank the North America Free Trade Agreement and this insidious tax break that is actually driving American jobs overseas in a subsidy fashion from the American government. It's, uh, it's outrageous and it's something that Senator Charles Grassley, the incumbent, actually supported in 2003 to create this tra tax structure, to create this pump to send jobs overseas. Uh, what I would like to see when I'm elected is I would like to see this uh, tax break repealed and so that people can have their tax exemption if they bring the money back and invest it in America. And I also think that we need to do some very dramatic things with the North America Free Trade or Agreement and with the World Trade Agreements so that we are not sending jobs overseas just on the basis of salaries. The poor people here in uh, Lake Mills that are losing their jobs, they were making 14 bucks an hour. The people down in San Luis Potosi, where these jobs are going, are making a buck and a half an hour. Now that's quite a difference, and I don't see how anybody could compete with that kind of a break. But what is that company getting down there in, um, in uh, Mexico besides uh, cheap labor? Well, they're getting uh, almost non-existent environmental laws. They're getting almost non-existent worker safety laws. Uh, they are getting away with a lot of things that are causing giant social problems for them and for us. 